So to start this question off, we bring up what's on the denominator to the top. That becomes then 3 plus cos 2x to the power of minus 3. So the power then becomes the negative of what it was at the bottom. This is now of the form of f dash x multiplied by f of x to the power of n. That's the case because f of x in this case would be what's in this bracket here, 3 plus cos 2x. If we were to differentiate that, we get minus 2 sine 2x, which is pretty much what we have here. It's off by a factor. That factor is a constant. And that's okay. We're going to correct for that factor later. So whenever you have something of this form, then the solution will be of the form of f of x to the power of n plus 1. So what we do is we raise the power of, in our case, the cos, the 3 plus cos 2x to the power of minus 3. We raise the power by 1. Our solution would then be of the form of 3 plus cos 2x to the power of minus 2. We then differentiate this. So y is equal to, so I'm using the chain rule, u is equal to 3 plus cos 2x. y then becomes u to the power of minus 2. Differentiate, so dy du is minus 2 u to the minus 3. And then du dx would be minus 2 sine 2x. Times the two things together, the minus 2, the minus 2, they combine to make 4. And then we have sine 2x and the u to the minus 3 is going to be 3 plus cos 2x, which is u, to the power of minus 3. Okay, so that's just using the chain rule, differentiating what we have here to get this. So our goal is to figure out what differentiates to make this. If we can figure out exactly what differentiates to make this, that would be what this integrates to make. So the y is equal to 3 plus cos 2x to the minus 2. That has differentiated to make this, which is pretty much what we're trying to integrate, but it's off by a factor of 4. So if we were to multiply this by a quarter, when we differentiate this term here, the quarter will carry through all the way to the end because it is just a constant that is multiplied by what we have here. And then we'd end up with a quarter at the end. The four and the quarter will cancel. And then this here, the differentiated form, is now exactly the same as what we're trying to integrate. So. If this differentiates to make this, which is what we're trying to integrate, then that means that what we're trying to integrate integrates to make what we have here. So our final answer would then be a quarter of 3 plus cos 2x to the power of minus 3, minus 2, sorry, plus c, which again is what we have here.